everyone again, and welcome back to the great news. Serve the side of the great divide. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride with Ronnie and Charlie with today's news report. Hey, Charlie. What are you doing? I am doing what Juliana told me to do. Sitting back and relaxing. Not you, silly. The hardworking penguins out there in TV land should relax before they tackle their busy day. Oh, oops. Sorry, penguins. My bad. Now let's stand for our Pledge of Allegiance and proud penguin pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Respect, responsibility, and citizenship to, they bring out the best in me and you. Trustworthiness and being fair help to show others that we really care. We all know it's right. We all know it's good. We all do the things that we know we should. Please remain standing for a moment to reflect. seated. Let's go to uh, Isabel at the SNIS Weather Studio for a daily weather report. Thanks guys. Now this is Florida. What a beautiful day we have in store for you today. It will be a perfect 76 degrees with a gentle 15 mile per hour breeze. Perfect for flying a kite. Rain chances is very low. Just at a 10%. What is a solar umbrella you ask? A solar umbrella is brightly simple. Solar umbrellas block the sun's rays all day long. They turn, then turn around and efficiently convert the energy to solar-powered lighting. There's no complicated set of or wiring. Solar umbrellas typically power, pull power through a small solar panel mounted on the top of on the top of the unit, so it's constantly exposed to the sun. The unit captures sunlight and turns it into electricity. This power is then stored in excess, in excess by flipping a switch, flipping a switch on the umbrella pole that powers the built-in LED light. Voila! Instant power and wait for and wait for it. They'll be available on Amazon. Now back to you guys. Hopefully this warm weather continues. I felt like we're taking this penguin thing a bit too literally for the few days. For sure, Ronnie. Now let's head to the good news news studio to see some good news from Emily. Today's headline. Decarbonization instantly converts carbon dioxide to solid carbon. Australian researchers have developed a smart and super efficient new way of capturing carbon dioxide and converting it to solid carbon. Carbon to help advance the decarbonization of heavy industries. The carbon dioxide utilization technology from researchers in Melbourne, Australia, is designed to be smoothly integrated into existing industrial processes, making it easier to dramatically reduce the amount of carbon that is released into our environment. Thanks, Emmett. Are you ready for some trivia, Charlie? Deal. What do you have for us today? Who won gold medals in the 1936 Olympics held in Berlin? 
Was it A, Jesse Owens, B, Jackie Joyner, Kersey, D, Carl Lewis, or D, Wilma Rudolph? Ready for the answer? Here are your choices again. Is it A, Jesse Owens, B, Jackie Joyner, Kersey, C, Carl Lewis, or D, Wilma Rudolph? The answer is A, Jesse Owens. Owens achieved international fame as the 1936 Summer Olympics in Berlin, Germany, by winning four gold medals, 100 meters, long jump, 200 meters, and a four by 100 meter reel. He was the most successful athlete at the Games. What an incredible human being, a true American hero. You can read more about Jesse Owens in the book Jesse Owens, Track and Field Legend Available in our library or look for the book Who Was Jesse Owens at the upcoming book fair. Don't forget the book fair starts February 4th. Make sure we're ready. Also don't forget to support the kindness challenge. Talk to your teacher about what types of supplies are needed to help the Coco Animal Shelter. Remember to work hard and be kind penguins. We love our penguins. <laughs>